Hi, so in today's video I want to talk a bit about nystagmus, um, so I'll be referring back to my last video and also I want to talk about where I am now with, with things and um, something I'm trying out. So in my last video um, I talked about an experiment I carried out where I had someone bring something close to my face uh, to see what happened, whether my eyes converged, diverged, one went out of the way, or, or whatever happened. And what happened was my eyes uh, started shaking, and um, I'd also start shaking a bit. Um, but the good news about this, uh, it was only when I was looking at something with both eyes, um, if I covered one eye, the shaking wasn't there. Uh, so that is you know, it means it's something to do with binocular vision. Um, okay, so when the eyes uh, shake and jerk around, um, you know, involuntary, that's called uh, nystagmus. Um, and there's, you know, different types of it. Um, sometimes it can be, you know, just something that's annoying and involuntary. Sometimes it can mean there's uh, something more serious underlying. Um, so there are two two types um, really, depending on how the eyes move. So if the eyes kind of move more up and down, um, and I think if they spin round as well, then um, that's um, an indication that it might be to do with the central vision and that can be um, a bit serious so but I mean if you've got any un unexplained shaking of the eyes you should check it out for sure um, but um, that can indicate that it could there could be a more serious uh, underlying cause um, if the eyes shake from side to side um, that's more likely to be um, a peripheral issue um, so that's less likely to be something serious um, but it's it's still annoying <laughs> whatever um, so even though I didn't see it myself obviously and I didn't ask I mean I, I should have got this recorded basically um, but I have a feeling a strong feeling mine was from side to side because uh, my left eye has a tendency to float out and then it um, it kind of jerks so I feel the jerk um, so that is a, a classic thing of the side to side nystagmus which, which is a peripheral issue now the interesting thing about peripheral nystagmus is um, it's often um, a sign of a balance issue. So people with vertigo can get uh, this type of nystagmus and people with Menia's disease which is an inner ear problem they can also get this type of nystagmus as well. Now I haven't got anything wrong with my ears or my balance so okay what could this possibly have to do with balance? Right well if um, you have problems with binocular vision, um, so that could include people with strabismus, people who are long-sighted, as I am, and maybe using other co coping mechanisms uh, to overcome this and accommodate, um, what you do is you may tip your head to one side or you may balance differently um, you know the classic thing of um, putting your paper like this when you're writing that is also an example uh, so you learn to balance differently um, so I'm learning to balance properly sometimes and that feels weird um, so I suspect um, this um, shaking of the eyes, that is all tied up with the way that I've been balancing in the past. 
and when I change my balance for the better, um, that that might be what triggers it off. Um, it it certainly does feel that way because if something comes close, yeah, I feel the eyes kind of jerk a bit, but there's also like my head starts going because I want to tilt. Of course, I want to tilt, and you know I'm not I'm not doing that um, really anymore because I've got a um, I'm wearing glasses. B um, I've had my teeth fixed, um, so my jaw is much more stable as well. That That is a part of it for me personally. Um, so that's, um, that is honestly what I believe to be the situation there. So where am I at the moment? Um, so in the last video, um, I think, or the one before at least, you would have seen my new glasses. Um, I haven't got them on now. I use them for when my eyes are, are tired. So these uh, plus 12s, they're, they're kind of my everyday wear. Um, so I use those to give my eyes a rest and that, that works because I've got a little bit of back and forth and I feel that is actually helpful. Um, and what I'm trying to do is I've noticed um, that when my eyes are just about to relax, they start relaxing, everything starts clearing and then they jerk and everything goes foggy again. Um, so these should be adequate for this exercise. Now this may be in the moment thing, um, so it might work, um, you know, for the next few days. I really hope it kind of works for a bit longer. But to date, um, it has been working nicely. Um, so I'll just look at something out the window is nice because I'm slightly, obviously, being on the third floor, I'm slightly above everything. So I can just let my eyes drop naturally a, a little bit. Um, and just outside, I can do it. Um, outside is actually better. So I just stand there and look at something that is, what, 20, 30 metres away. Um, that's a nice distance. And I just let my eyes relax and they start stinging and tearing up a bit. And I just let that happen. Um, you know, try and push through that, if you can imagine trying push through it by relaxing. Um, and just let whatever happens, happens. And, you know, things start coming into focus. Um, so I'm just working with um, letting something come into focus and then maybe looking at the next building over there, repeat. So being able to hold it a little bit and then um, to look to another place. So that is just what I'm trying out for now um, because I can hold it a little bit. And if I can hold it a little bit, you know, if there's one thing that I can do a little bit, that is a starting point. So, um, you know, if I can stabilise at that kind of distance, um, then maybe I can work a little bit closer or if not, um, you know, maybe I can have glasses, uh, you know, some higher glasses like the higher glasses I've got for a little bit closer. Uh, I don't know. But the, what I'm trying to do right now is to find one place you know, if it is just one place where I can stabilise my vision, um, because that is the starting point to hopefully, um, you know, getting more all-round stability so that, um, apart from anything, um, you know, I can function better 
with my eyes generally and also so that um, I can get a clear um, prescription or a clear uh, refractive error that um, that is that is constant at the moment I've got up to like nearly 15 and up to uh, nearly 14 <laughs> um, that could be more it you know it might come down a little bit um, for you know uh, long distance and maybe I'd just be using that for reading perhaps um, but th this is just to try and damp things down a bit so it's not so excitable and twitchy um, yeah so that uh, is my video for today. Um, hope you liked it. If you do, please uh, click like and subscribe and hope to see you in my next video.